Well, going to be a cold night for holiday shoppers. Chief forecaster John Milan is here. John. And we have a little snow episode coming at us also, so traveling very important. We always do a little personalized travel forecast. We're starting with our old friend Stephen Loretta Brzezinski. Every year they come down from Tomahawk and they travel back on the day after a few flurries and light snow to start your trip up north. And then as you travel, uh, depending on which route you go, Tomahawk could see one to two inches of snow and that will fall during the day. I wish I could tell you and cold temperatures, 18 degrees. I wish I could tell you to leave earlier or leave later, but it's going to be light snow all the way back on your trip. For the rest of you folks traveling tomorrow, the North Woods are going to get a little bit of snow tomorrow, even a little rain snow mixture and freezing rain at the Twin Cities. Pretty nice in the Chicago area on Friday. On Saturday, no trouble anywhere. 42 in Milwaukee, 46 in Chicago. Look at the 50s across Iowa, and again, no big storms in sight and more of the same on Sunday if you're going up towards the Packer game, mid to upper 30s there, low 40s still in Milwaukee. Right now, temperatures are dropping fast. This was a very cold Thanksgiving day, one of the coldest in the past 10 years. 19 already in Milwaukee, 14 Waukesha, 16 Watertown, 12 in Beaver Dam. Your overnight low temperature is in the low teens right at the lakeshore dropping into the single digits in. We still have a few flurries on the radar, mainly down here in western Racine and Kenosha County and a couple flurries left over in Walworth County. But that's moving out of the picture. Clear skies are moving in. That's why it's going to get very cold overnight tonight. The clouds will be back soon, late tonight as the next storm system starts to push in from the northwest. Here's our future forecast look at snowfall. And again, if you're traveling up to the north woods like the Brzezinski's tomorrow, over an inch uh, to two and a half inches of snow from Wausau to Green Bay, about an inch in the Madison area and less than an inch here in southeastern Wisconsin. So not a big deal for shopping tomorrow down here. Thursday, uh, we're looking at mostly high pressure rolling in and then pushing out by tonight. Friday, here's that little burst of snow that rolls through and drops the one to two inches. And then this warm front rolls at us for Friday night into Saturday, and that will bring temperatures back into the 40s. So tonight it's going to be a chilly one. We start out clear, then becomes cloudy late. Southwest winds could even see a flurry before dawn, 13 degrees. Tomorrow, some light snow at times, maybe a half an inch here to a dusting, about an inch in Fond du Lac County, two inches towards Wausau, 31 degrees. Your chilly high. We start to warm up tomorrow night, 25 degrees uh, with cloudy skies. And check out Saturday, looking really nice with partly cloudy skies, southwest winds in 43 degrees. Here's your Storm Team 4 seven day forecast. 40 still on Sunday. Not bad for the Packer game. Not bad for the Badger game this weekend. Some sunshine on Monday and 25 chilly degrees and then back up uh, on Tuesday to 32 with a flurry or 235 on Wednesday and a rain snow mixture moves in here next Thursday. We're still cold at 38 degrees. We'll be back with sports and Rod Burks after this.